Hello and welcome to the Big Bang. What is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics helps define the state of the system and changes of the state of the system in terms of macroscopic variables like temperature, pressure, and volume. Here are a few tips to approaching thermodynamics. First of all, define the state of your system. Is it ideal or real? Is it closed or open or isolated? Is it isothermal, isobaric, isochoric, which means constant volume, or adiabatic? Thermodynamics uses ideal systems as an approximation of real systems, since ideal systems are much easier to define. What variables describe the system? In this course, we will start with describing systems from a macroscopic point of view, so using temperature T, pressure P, and volume V. What is the relationship between these state variables? These are where the equations of state come into play. From completely describing the classical system, you are now able to control it, or at least predict its behavior. Next, you want to think about the energy changes involved in the change of state. To do so, let's talk about the components of the first law of thermodynamics, internal energy, heat, and work. Internal energy in a closed system is a sum of potential and kinetic energy in a system. The first law of thermodynamics states that the change in internal energy is equal to the heat changes in the system and the net work done by or to the system. By convention, heat transferred into the system and work done on the system are both positive. In other words, they increase the energy of the system. The first law of thermodynamics implies nothing about the directionality of change. We need the second law of thermodynamics to have an idea of the direction of the change of state. To understand the second law, we need to talk about entropy. Entropy is often stated as a measure of disorder in a system, but it is mathematically a constant of proportionality to describe how much internal energy is lost as heat. Internal energy can never be converted entirely into work, denoted by A. What is lost as heat is proportional to the temperature, as denoted by T in this equation. S refers to the entropy. In other words, you can never get an efficiency of 1. That's why real engines are never Carnot en engines, which represent the maximum efficiency that a heat energy engine can have. Entropy, which is proportional to the inherent disorder in a system, will always increase in a closed system. However, entropy could possibly decrease in an open system. If the surroundings see a larger increase in entropy, such that the overall entropy of the universe still increases. Do you see why it is so important to clearly define your system and surroundings? Before we go, let's talk a little about the math you will need to know. Some derivations of the formulas require knowledge of the definition of the derivative, how to find partial differential equations, as well as the chain rule. So here's a definition of the derivative. And here's a an example of the chain rule. A PDE relates partial derivatives of a multivariable function, f, x, y, z. If we are taking a partial derivative of re with respect to x, then y and z are constant. The same rule applies to higher order PDEs. Don't forget how you found ordinary differential equations using the chain rule, the quotient rule, etc. For second order PDEs, recall that the second derivative, partial derivative of f delta x delta y equals the second partial derivative of f delta y, delta x. Although you will be using different variables, refer back to your multivariable calculus knowledge to really understand how the formulas are derived. Remember to first, define the state of the system and the variables to describe the system. Second, consider what energetic changes are involved in the change of state of the system. One of the main goals of the course is to connect concept to application. We will be giving concrete examples in subsequent videos, so stay tuned. 
Once you see the wide variety of thermodynamics applications, you will begin to understand how thermodynamics forms the basis of everyday life. So for now, good luck and have fun!